Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly uh, tarot reading. So today, let's just hang out for a little bit. But while you receive this reading, if you find any cards that resonate with you in this uh, weekly reading for you today, Taurus, let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, Taurus, because that's how I keep up with you guys is through the comments, Taurus. So as well if you enjoy this reading or Taurus you just enjoy my vibe I would love for you as well to give this reading a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot channel a lot Taurus and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way uh, as well but keep in mind as well before we get into this reading Taurus uh, for you today I want you to remember to use your intuition because put it in perspective Taurus just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. My weekly readings are here just to provide some food for thought, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week, but never making a decision in your life, because remember, these are just some tarot cards, right, y'all? So uh, let's just get into your weekly reading today, Taurus. So right off the bat, Taurus, I pulled some cards for you just to get a general idea of just what's going on for you, right? And just see uh, what we can kind of just tap into for you, Taurus. So starting this out, I pulled three cards for you. You guys actually had two different archangels step forward to you. So for those uh, that are open to working with angels, um, uh, you can start working with uh, Archangel Kemwell. The life experience card popped up for you, Tauruses. Uh, now, so for this card, this is number 16, equaling to 7. I like to use numerology when it comes to, the, to this deck in specific, so I do suggest for you to write down the number 7, uh, Taurus. And so this card comes in as the message of a significant life event, powerful revelation that leads to change, and time to spread your wings. And so with this Taurus, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the Tower card, actually, in normal Tarot. So... <laughs> <laughs> just dive in, just being completely transparent, right? This is really just letting me know of a week of where you, there, it seems to kind of uh, getting the ball rolling for some of you uh, Tauruses, because I know for uh, last week's reading, see, things were kind of like prepped for you. Uh, now it's kind of giving me this impression that the gears are starting to turn, things are starting to, uh, like, there's the most, like, I completely forgot. I, I got my eyebrow pierced uh, recently, Taurus, so like not anytime I'm like scratching my head and like I forget that I have it there. But um, so that's why I had that pause because I was like, wait a minute. Um, yeah, so you had your bags packed essentially, right, Taurus? And now it seems like things are starting to take place. Actions, events are starting to, uh, the domino effect essentially, right, of where things are starting to fall into place of where now action's kind of necessary. So, uh, at this point, with the life experience card, it does signify, um, it kind of does, you know, in the underlying message, it does represent uh, a parting of ways of something to uh, have wiped the slate clean, uh, right? And the only way to wipe the slate clean is having to let go of some stuff, right? Uh, you and with this is a beautiful card um, as well because remember I pulled three cards for you Taurus we have the dreamer card Archangel Metatron now this is number zero so funnily enough uh, it's still relevant to just have the number seven for your numerology so also for, um, I'm going to just mention you could be working with Archangel Metatron this week as well but uh, in this card this is the fool actually and this card says a leap of faith follow your dreams and unexpected opportunities. So can we just take a moment, Taurus? Like, can we just please take a moment and just appreciate how these messages coincide with one another, right? It's just like you're wiping the slate clean with this tower card, right? It's kind of like taking, lighting a match and just setting your old life, your old house aflame as you don't look back and you just go forward into something new as the fool, ready to embrace a new journey right you have your bags packed you are ready to like jump onto this ride and then we just like 
top this off beautifully with the Queen of Fire, right? The Queen of Fire is so fitting for this as well because this is a card that says, uh, stretch your wings and fly, don't underestimate yourself, assert your independence and creativity, Taurus. So regardless of whatever this is tapping into, uh, Taurus, I'll just tell you the, sto uh, the storyline that I'm getting for, uh, the Taurus that I'm connecting to, at the very least, is I'm getting somebody that, um, this is like a long, something that has been a long time coming, right? Because as I was saying, referencing before, uh, Taurus, last week's, uh, weekly reading for you, um, I was getting, like, it was saying, I think I even titled it, like, your bags are packed or something like that. Um, so the, I feel like this has been, like, a turning of events. I know usually sometimes the Tower card can uh, represent, um, like, a sudden event, but I feel like this is something that was, like, planned. It's kind of like, um, the only example I can think of is, like, right, when, you know, like, during, like, hurricane se season, I'm a f I'm, I'm from Florida. <laughs> I used to live in Florida, so it's, like, during hurricane season, uh, right, you could kind of predict where hurricanes going to be going, like, they're pathing, right? So it's just, like, everyone in Florida is kind of prepared when a hurricane actually makes land sort of thing. It's kind of that, uh, effect. Um, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, right, it's kind of up to your discretion. I see it as a life experience, right, building up some character. And something to keep in mind as well, Taurus, is when with the Queen of Fire here, this is a card, this card always just comes in of where it's just like a, um, kind of asking for you to uh, take that risk, right? This is very much so like one of those situations of... Um, going to like a new town a new place and you know with like a whole new this is like your chance really to start completely fresh with something and just really like it's like stepping into like a whole new world where like just the uh, possibility possibilities are limitless uh it sounds very dramatic but it's i mean you guys got very dramatic cards to be honest Taurus, right like i acknowledge outside of me saying these words it sounds super fluffy and positive but it's like you can't really read it any other way you guys are at a very huge transitional point in your life and i i just personally appreciate it Taurus, from a terror nerd uh perspective just because of how uh, beautifully these cards line up in such a storyline. So the clarifiers I also pulled for this Taurus was the Ace of Swords coming in for you, which makes sense, right? You're dur during this whole journey of um, this completely like, I feel like, let me just show you the actually other three cards so I can just address them all because they all kind of go together. Actually, Taurus, we have the Death card as well. So already what I was hinting at. And then you have the Temperance card. Now, can we also just take a moment and appreciate the cards that you're getting to us in terms of like a lot, of, a lot of major arcana, all the cards talking about transitions, but it's also being topped off very nicely with cards that are really pushing creativity, right? Because this is the Ace of Swords is the card of creativity. You look at the imagery of the card itself, right? And you just see it's like the ge sacred geometry, like into the mind and something being unlocked into the mind, right? So this is really signifying this week's Taurus, just as like a, um, for me, I'm getting this reference that during this transitional time, right? How many times can I say transitional, Taurus, right? Um, the number one thing that you th that you should be doing is to just not getting in your head in the sense of overthinking things. Because with this death card coming in and with that tower card, you're it's going to be a time, Taurus, where a lot of things are coming and going. A lot of things that you a lot of loose ends being like tied up right you're finally i just get a lot of closure essentially right with this new slate you kind of have to let go of a lot of things that you used to have even if this is just like a mindset thing too right because i can't neglect how these cards are paired up like this could just be completely like disconnecting from the 
idea of how you thought something was going to pan out or disconnecting from the thought process or the mindset of something right because even with the temperance card uh the temperance card is that nice balance that nice yin and yang energy so it's very much like some of you tourists like turned like a 180 like your perspective uh shifted like 180 degrees with something uh maybe something that wasn't initially uh, or maybe rather something that you thought initially was for you, something that you thought was going to be part of your storyline for a lot longer than you anticipated, um, is kind of coming into an end. And it's just at this point now, I do feel like it is, this is very much so like a drastic crossroads for you, for you guys. Um, and it's something that you kind of saw in the works now, and now you're just seeing the fruition of it or like the, um, beginning physical actions of it right Taurus so uh very interesting cards uh let's now get into just let's let's get into the blessings actually Taurus let's see what blessings we can anticipate for you this week or the blessings that are in the works this week for Taurus also, Taurus, did y'all let me know how you're doing today from the intro? Don't think I'm gonna forget, right? I didn't just say that just for the intro. I wanna know how y'all are doing this week. I wanna like, I wanna have like, <laughs> I wanna just like connect more uh, a little bit since I've been especially slacking on replying to people. I read everyone's comments, but I've been slacking in actually like replying to people. So um, let me know how you're doing, Taurus. Um, so getting these cards, Taurus, don't mind me. Uh, I like these cards that we're getting, it's so beautiful. But definitely you guys, Taurus, are going through some type of transitional phase. Um, you, I can't help but keep on feeling the need to repeat the message of like walking away from something. Um, it's usually not, that's usually not something that's like I will push, especially like y'all know me, Taurus. If you're not new to my readings, like I'm very optimistic, so. Uh, <laughs> But I do, like, there is just, like, this common theme of being, like, no, you're actually having to, like, walk away from this one thing. So I don't know if some of you Tauruses are having a problem with uh, accepting this uh, or internalizing this or what's going on, right? Um, so let's get into your cards now for the blessings in the works for you this week, Taurus. So you have the King of Fire. So we enjoy this, right? It's complementing your Queen of Fire energy. Uh we have the eight of cups um i mean we'll get into this one here a lot more in a moment and then we have the ten of cups so i am getting here taurus that for some of you guys your transitional thing the thing that you're going to probably be moving away from and something that you're probably that's probably why it's a little bit hard for you to stomach this a little bit taurus because it seems like some of you guys are having to uh make the decision to um, be the one to like break off from a cycle of some sort, right? Uh, because with this Eight of Cups, as I was saying before, of how we would really get into this card, this is a card of going to bigger and better waters, right? You don't know what's out there, right? But you kind of have this gut instinct, this gut feeling that you need to walk away like even though this is serving you here like there's nothing wrong with this water here really but there's something in you that's just like choose telling you that you shouldn't be settling at this time and so you are taking that leadership role like right i always love the king like my favorite uh uh king and queen dynamic in tarot is the wands because they're both just very much so assertive independent energies taking the lead right so it's something I, I i'm going to just be messing this up <laughs> how to say this uh Taurus. So i probably will sound ridiculous but it's like it feels as if some of you tourists are making the choice to like end the cycle on um you know like maybe like a toxic family like pattern something i'll ex explain what i mean by that like it and maybe you'll figure out what i'm trying to say but it's just like let's just say in your family like all like 
none of your family members are um, like your fa your mothers or your parents, and then their grandparent, your grandparents or their, your parents' parents, and all this have like the same toxic pattern and the same to same toxic cycle that will they have with their parental figures or with their family members. And it seems like you would be like making the choice to be walking away from it and being the one to be like, hey, this behavior isn't normal here. Let's not normalize this, right? Or for some of you Tauruses, you maybe are in this like uh, toxic pattern of like what you would excuse the red flags that you would um, allow into your life or choose to ignore and accept or the behaviors that you would accept and how you'd be treated. I say this in very close uh, in such a way because like with the Ten of Cups here, this signifies just the intimate and the intimacy of the closeness of the situation. And something else I want to point out to us is I know I'm speaking in terms of like all my examples have come in terms of the dynamic of people, um, but it very easily could be because the cups representing your opportunity, uh, right? It could be a situation of like a job or something like that. I just like to, it just is so happened that all the uh, examples um, until this point in Taurus have been about with involving people. <laughs> something I just want to say. So um, let's see if we can get a little bit more detail on this, uh, Taurus. All right, so this makes sense. Let me show you these cards, Taurus. We have right here for you the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Cups, right? Yeah, or no, not Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. And then, I'm sorry, Taurus, I don't have my glasses, so that's why. Um, and then the Seven of Wands. So in this dynamic, I feel like this is one of the phrases I say all the time. It's like in this dynamic, and I don't say it in like my normal conversation. I don't know why I always say it just in my readings. Like, who are you? <laughs> uh, so in this dynamic, honey, my camera cut off when I said in this dynamic again. So apparently something doesn't enjoy me even saying in this dynamic. Um, regardless, I'm going to still say it again. <laughs> in this dynamic with these cards, Taurus, um, I'm really going to be looking at this Seven of Wands here for you because this is the card of where it is, the element of where it is I feel like you are at. Because um, with this choice of the Eight of Cups here, it's like whatever the decision is that you're making, Taurus, I feel like this is the most sure, sure of yourself that you are, that you have ever been, rather, about yourself. Because in this Page of Cups and Seven of Cups, you're considering your options with other things and you're more than open, I'm getting to um, welcome in anything new coming into your life if it, seems, if it sounds like a better situation, right? So all that I'm really getting for you right here, Taurus, and during this week is to truly just do your best in terms of being open to these different cups, right? Because with these seven cups, there's not a real like theme to what's in these options. And something that I really just want to point out to you, Taurus, is that um, I just get this feeling like with this page of cups, if you guys do uh, Taurus to choose to like transition completely into like a new person uh, or like a new job or new situation, right? I need to stop using person as the example, Taurus. Um, I feel like this page of cups is going to come in, and this is just like intuitive at this point, Taurus, so take this with a grain of salt. But I do get this gut feeling that this page of cups, this new opportunity, this new thing coming towards you, um, is come like looks kind of different than what you would normally go for, or what you would normally anticipate. Just a thought here. But yeah, with the seven of wands, I just get this sense here of where a lot of attention or just like it seems like a lot of things are going to be trying you during that transitional time for you again how many times have i said transition in y'all's reading during this eight of cups something that mm, weird messages but it'll be interesting how this resonates with y'all and like what happens during this week <laughs> so uh yeah 
Taurus, let's get into some final messages for you guys just through some oracle cards now. I want to see what messages Spirit has. What is it that you should be looking for? What is it that Taurus should be looking out for this week, right? What should be Taurus working on this week? Let's see. Use this card and then we use this card. I also kind of want to just spoil y'all, Taurus, this week. Let's spoil y'all and get um, a couple of Moon Oracle cards for you. Uh, yeah, we'll use those. All right. So <clears throat> let's get into your Animal Oracle cards first. We have the Rattlesnake for you. The experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. Now, the last part here is fulfilling your purpose as a healer. Uh, that part, I feel like, is more so trying to relay the message of just, like, um, go on, like, your fulfilling your purpose and just living this life, right? I feel like we're all healers on some level, right? But that's a completely different conversation. This Rattlesnake card, I feel like I always just see it as, like, an affirmation on just, like, on the journey towards like fulfilling your purpose in life on the like on your correct path on um, like the experiences you're going through are just meant to happen right now like it's like you're not doing anything wrong at this time towards like the actions that you've taken up until this point and like what's happening to you now is not a reflection on like anything that you've done does that make sense for us and then we have the boar card for you. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. Kind of beautiful card to have and it kind of makes sense, right? To have this message because it's like as that full energy, you want to have that confidence. I do just kind of get this sense of where you're getting out of your comfort zone entirely. And so it's interesting with your moon oracle cards, uh, Taurus, of how, because of like how themed this message is and specific this message is, because we have the balsamic moon talking about a time for healing. And then we have the uh, new moon in cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. So I feel like these two cards more so come in as a very specific message for some of my Tauruses that are having like a concern about very specific message that I'm getting, but almost as if like they're like during that transitional process, transition again, with that 10 of cups that I was honing in on from before, maybe that you uh, like you, some of you Tauruses have to uh, put, are being put at a distance between like you and someone that you care about right now because of the spiritual journey that you're on. So as an example, let's just say that I had to like uh, move to California for business for a few months and I had to leave my cat Tulip, she's like over here, um, leave my cat Tulip with a friend for a couple of months. That would be like, it's kind of in that vein that I'm getting it at. So, uh, for you, Taurus. But, um, uh, yeah, I hope this reading was helpful, um, and resonated on some level for you, Taurus. If it did, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards did. Give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Taurus, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs. Uh, so if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not Taurus, I would really appreciate it if you were to share my videos with them. So maybe they could find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Taurus, I love you so much. Bye.